Hi! Um, so this is something that I wanted to do for a while now. Um, start a YouTube channel, so welcome to my first adventure. Um, I decided since I have a lot more time now, um, since we are kind of all stuck at home, that um, this is kind of an adventure that I would take on, see if it's something that I enjoy. Um, so bear with me with my first uh, kind of dip into the water here. Um, today we are just going to be getting ready. Um, I've been trying to get ready in the mornings just to kind of give myself a little bit more of a sense of kind of productivity. Um, feel like I'm kind of living a normal day uh, even though we're not. We're stuck at home. Um, the virus has kind of stuck um, everybody in New York City in their own apartments. So new creative times. Fun. Um, so here we go. Nothing too fancy today. Um, we're just gonna do just my everyday kind of look. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Put my little cat ears on here. Um, I always like to kind of tear, tie my hair back a little bit or headband just to keep it on my face. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Always do this before I start my makeup. Uh, I have already done my skincare today, so this is just kind of refreshing my lips. They're a little dry. Alright, um, I also have thoroughly washed my hands. Again, just a little, um, you know, extra good hygiene right now. So we are going to start with, um, I just got in my Ipsy bag the um, Glam Glow Moisturizer. So we're going to try this out. Have not tried this yet. Uh, this will be the first time. Uh, if it looks like I'm looking down, my mirror is directly below you. So far, I like this. Um, it has an interesting scent to it. I do, for those of you who don't know, have very, very dry skin, so I do try to keep it um, well hydrated. I like typically more glowy products. So I have a feeling I probably will enjoy this. Uh, I'm using it as my primer, so. Um, I do, though, have larger pores kind of in my T-zone, not necessarily oily skin, just large pores. So I do really like the um, Revlon Photo Ready primer. Um, I just use a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, little pea sized don't help. I like to warm that up then between my fingers and then just press it into the skin. So I have been kind of obsessed with, since it came out, the uh, ColourPop uh, Tinted Moisturizer, the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I do have the shade uh, F1, so uh, F1N, Neutral Undertone. They don't have any cool undertones in this line, which is strange, uh, and I do typically lean towards a little bit more of a cool undertone. I typically do about a pump of this. Um, this is a little bit light for me currently. We just got back from vacation, so I am about a shade darker than I normally would be this time of year. Um, but I just use my fingers to kind of rub it in, just like a typical moisturizer. It is super light coverage, um, but for kind of every day, I don't really like to have anything that feels too cakey, too heavy, it just kind of makes me feel gross and dry. It is super hydrating. It does, I will say, feel like I'm staying uh, nice and moisturized all day. I've worn this for up to at least 10 hours, probably at the longest, maybe more. And I've never 
It's never looked bad. A lot of foundations will look kind of cakey on me towards the end of the day, just because my skin gets really dry and kind of flaky. Just tapping it in to make sure it is really well blended. Cool. All right, so in combination with that, um, I've been really liking the way that the um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers look. So I have two shades. Um, I like the shade Light 2 Vanilla for my kind of um, correcting and spots. And then um, light one Chantilly for under my eyes and kind of highlighting. So this is light one. I don't like to use a ton of this. Um, it is, it does have decent coverage. So again, not going for anything crazy full coverage, just a little bit. And again, we just want to kind of highlight down the middle of the face and under the eyes. And then um, this area, I do have quite a few breakouts. So I typically will just do a few spots um, on the main ones and then kind of blend it in. Anywhere I also have any kind of like redness or just needs a little bit extra coverage because again, that Tinted moisturizer doesn't really provide a lot. Uh, for this, I do like to use a brush. Uh, this is just a concealer brush that I got in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. I like to kind of buff it in, but also pressing as well, kind of a combination. Because again, um, I do have dry skin, so I don't really want to disturb like any of the, if I would have any kind of like flakiness or patches or anything. So we're just kind of pressing it in. I also really like to just take my time with it. Um, it's kind of one of the longer steps in my routine. Uh, I just really like to make sure that my, my base kind of looks flawless and more, more skin-like. We're just kind of trying to perfect what we have here. Alright, um, after that I do like to just take my finger and just kind of tap everything in just to make sure there's no like extra just, and make sure it's just again blended really nicely and kind of melted into my skin. Okay now that we are done with concealer um, I really like using a lot of cream products again just Dry skin kind of keeps everything nice and um, hydrating. And it also just for an everyday look is just more natural. So um, for my cream contour, I really like the Wet n Wild um, makeup stick. Super affordable, super easy to use. Um, I have a couple of different shades, but the one that I've found matches like the undertone is not, uh, well enough is called Call Me Maple. I believe it's like the medium shade. Um, so it is a little bit dark for my skin tone since I am so fair but um, the undertone isn't quite as warm, so it doesn't end up looking really orangey on my more pink toned, kind of cooler toned skin. So just going to um, kind of dot that, uh, I use it kind of to contour into bronze. So just around anywhere shadows would be hitting. And again, just very lightly because this color is slightly dark. The brush that I like to use for this is the um, Luxie 516. It's a just medium sized um, duo fiber brush. And 
then I just blend it in. I will say again, I do have to blend this in fairly, fairly well because it is quite dark. Um, and if it's not blended very well, it will end up leaving little spots and circles. And sometimes in the natural lighting here in front of my window, it is kind of hard to see, so. I find also that this dries down fairly well, so it does stay put pretty much all day as well. Uh, and then I typically will go in with blush next. Sometimes I like to do my highlighter first just because uh, it makes it look a little bit more seamless when I am doing these natural looks. Uh, and today I'm going to use the ColourPop, ColourPop blush. Uh, this shade is called Drop of a Hat. So for this, I just like to take a little bit on my finger here and then just kind of dot it, kind of tap it into my skin. Um, doesn't have to be perfect or blended in yet because I do like going in um, with another duo fiber brush. Again, another one from Lexi. This is the 524. So just a smaller one. And then just again blend it in. So focusing, I like more on my, um, the back of my cheekbone instead of on the apples of my cheeks because I do tend to get red. So throughout the day, more of my natural redness will kind of peek through. Um, and if I put too much blush there, it just makes me kind of look like a clown. So just focusing towards the back. And then I did wipe off the uh, remainder of the product that I had on my finger onto my hand. So if I feel like there's a spot that needs a little extra, I just kind of pick it up and go back in. All right. Uh, last thing for the face makeup, we are gonna do highlighter. Um, again, another ColourPop product. This one is the You're a Catch highlighter from the Blush Crush uh, collection. Say that five times fast. Um, I really like this new packaging. Super, super big, huge mirror. Um, I took this on vacation with us recently and the mirror was super handy. Um, the nice thing about this highlighter in particular too is it can be nice and natural or um, you can really really amp this one up um, to make it a little bit more kind of glowy um, and you can also put these over powder too which is nice because they uh, tend to set down a little bit. And just, um, again, same kind of technique, just tapping it in. I like to use my fingers for this one. And just focusing on the highlights, um, just focusing on the high points of the face. Anything I have left over, I just lightly, typically will dab kind of <laughs> over top of the arch of my brow. All right, um, then just gonna go back in and tap my concealer out underneath my eyes because it has creased a little bit. Uh, another Luxie brush, we're going to take just a little bit of powder. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Honestly, I like it better than most high-end powders that I've tried. Um, works just as well. I don't like to use a lot of powder because, again, dry skin, so just a little bit. Um, this is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. I like it better for under eye powder than I do for highlighter. So just starting focusing underneath the 
eyes, kind of tapping off any excess product before we go directly in. Again, tapping out my eyelids and then setting those as well. And then we are going to use that same tapping motion. Um, I do like to set my, my whole face just because I do find that it really helps with like the longevity of my makeup. Just doing it in a very uh, kind of light fashion though. Because again, we don't want to add too much powder. Since my skin tends to look a little bit dry and cakey. Just kind of tapping into the product and then tapping into the lid to kind of disperse it a little bit better on the brush. Okay. Um, next I like to do my eyebrows. I've actually been, instead of starting with a pencil, been starting with my brow gel more recently and it's been I feel like making me use less product um, as far as the pencil goes so um, both of the things that I'm going to use are both from Colourpop brow pencil and uh, the gel clearly I very much like Colourpop I also really like that you can get it at Ulta now so I don't have to order everything online which is awesome um, this is the Colourpop brow boss the shade light brown and then the brow gel also in the shade light brown so I'll take the spoolie and just kind of brush upwards on both sides. And then brow gel. I like to kind of scrape off the excess product and then go in. Just light upward motions making sure there's no chunks of product in your brow. All right. Then again, going in with the pencil, just to kind of shape up a little more um, and fill in any kind of just sparse areas. I have worn this uh, brow gel on its own quite a few times as well, but I typically just prefer a more full and bold looking eyebrow. I do have a few spaces in my brows that are incredibly blonde, so it looks like they just don't exist. So I really like to focus most of my time and most of my product there. Alright, so... I just like to go then back into the brow gel again, again kind of wiping off that excess product and then just running it through one more time just to fully set everything down. This stuff really does cling to any brow hair that you have. And it really does make it look thicker, fuller. It's pretty good. And it's like five, six dollars, so. Okay, um, eyes. Again, color pop. They really just, they're great. Uh, this is the Bare Necessities palette. It's one of their bigger eyeshadow palettes here, so. I really like kind of just this top row, especially for just an everyday uh, look. So we're gonna start with that. Uh, again, Luxie brushes. They're great, they're the best. This is the 205. It is just a tapered blending brush. Um, we're gonna start with the shade On Holiday. So. 
and just into the crease. I like just back and forth and then also circular motions. Always tapping off the excess product before we go in because we are especially going for a lighter look today. It's just staying at home, so. kind of going back in a couple of times and just building that color up just a little bit just enough to kind of create a little bit of like dimension in the crease there okay. I also like to do my lower lash line as I am doing uh, my eyelids so that I don't kind of have to go back in so taking that same shade and just a little bit here on the lower lash line. I'm going all the way to the end of the lashes from the outer corner to the inner. And then just kind of back and forth. All right. Next brush is again an Aluxy brush. It is the 229 tapered blending. It's just a little bit more kind of defined. And then we're just gonna take that into banter, which is the shade out in the corner here. And we're gonna focus that more kind of deeper into the crease. So I always like to start on the outer corner and then work my way inwards so that most of the product is out here and coming in. Last color, um, the corner down here, velveteen. Um, so it's just like a more mid-tone brown. These are all kind of more cool tone shades. I find for me that works a little bit better um, for an everyday look. They just, again, cool tone skin and just kind of warm tones are just not my go-to for everyday. So just kind of building that up a little bit, tapping it onto the outer corner and then bringing it again just to deepen up the crease a little bit. And then this brush. Uh, for cut. It's another br brush from Luxie. This is the 237 blending brush. I got this one in an Ipsy bag, I believe, as well. So just finishing off the lower lash line, taking a banter shade again and just going about halfway. And then taking an incredibly old, tiny little baby pencil brush that I have, again, probably from an Ipsy bag or something, uh, taking that deeper shade velveteen, tapping off the excess, and then just keeping it right on the outer corner, close to the lash line, just to kind of create almost like a liner effect, but just like the outer third or fourth of the lid is where I kind of like to keep it. And then I typically will take my powder brush again and just kind of clean up underneath the eyes after finishing all of the matte shadows. And uh, I almost always wear just a shimmer shade kind of on my lid, just I like the pop of sparkle. Um, my favorite one in this palette is Silk Teddy, which is this one right here. I believe this is one of the super shock formulas as well, which is really nice because it just gives you a, a lot of color payout. So I just dot a little bit on my lid and then kind of go in and kind of work it back in with my finger. And then to finish it off, just to make sure everything is nice and seamless, I just take the brush that we used for that kind of mid-tone color and just blend the edges kind of together here.
for my uh, inner corner highlight, I really like the Luxie 231 Small Taper Blending Brush. Um, and then I'm gonna take the, this is the Kylie Cosmetics Ice Me Out Highlighter. My sister got me this for Christmas. Tapping it out again, just, I like to swirl it in and then kind of bring it up like in a little bit of a swoop. Just kind of blending it together with the shimmer shade that is on. Um, and then just taking a very little bit and underneath the brow, right on the brow bone. I typically tend to be fairly messy when I do my eyeshadow, so I do like to kind of take my concealer brush and just tap out the edges just to kind of clean everything up afterwards. And then if I feel like I need to go back in with the highlighter brush and just whatever's left over, kind of pat that in. Um, and then that's it for the eyeshadow. Uh, the mascara that I've been obsessed with for years is uh, the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Uh, and then I recently have discovered the NARS Climax Mascara and these two together make a really great combination. So um, I'm gonna go in first with the Tarte one. And I like to just start at the base of my lashes and just kind of wiggle Board. This one is getting a little bit dried out. I definitely need to, I have a second one that I need to open. Uh, I will typically only do the tart one for my lower lashes. I find that the NARS one kind of smudges and flakes a little bit on my lower lashes. All right, taking the NARS mascara and just Wiggling it through the lashes. I feel like this one gives me a lot more volume. And since my eyelashes are all very, very blonde, I like to make sure that they are nice and dark and thick looking. a little bit of mascara on my lid here so typically when that happens I just take the spoolie from my eyebrow brush um, after I've given it a second to dry and just kind of wipe it off and it comes right out. Um, for my lips I am obsessed with the Colourpop um, Just a Tint lip balms. I have a ton of shades but my favorite one that I wear pretty much every day is called Feel Good. Um, I really like these as blush too. Uh, my One of my favorites for blush is Always Right. It's just a nice like baby pink color. And these are super comfortable too. They're just like a lip balm basically. And they'll leave your lips just with a little bit of a stain throughout the day. Uh, and my ultimate combination right now is in combination with that lip balm, um, the Sailor Moon lip gloss, uh, the called Sailor Moon. It's from the Sailor Moon collection by Colourpop. Uh, I was super excited when they did that collaboration and I actually managed to get everything that I wanted from it, the collection. So super exciting because I know it sold out in like 10 seconds and I'm not exaggerating. Uh, so just topping that lip balm with the lip gloss. All right, 
very last um, I have been obsessed with again the pretty fresh uh, hyaluronic acid setting spray uh, doesn't really do anything for the longevity of your makeup but great for people with dry skin just kind of keeps me hydrated um, so just it also smells like coconuts which I love um, and I typically just keep any kind of card that I get from any kind of um, like makeup subscription box or anything and just I like to just fan it out just to let it dry Sometimes I'll take a sponge too and just press it into my skin if I feel like I'm feeling a little bit too powdery, but this usually will do the job. All right, and that is it. That's my kind of everyday routine. Um, this typically will take me about 15-20 minutes in the morning um, if I'm not like sitting through and talking through everything, um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for stopping by.